Busy people and lots of alleys, Worcester hipsters and fat of townies. We have more than pizza in common. With two rocks for bookends. New Haven, New Haven, New Haven. Between two rocks. All right, and welcome back to the Between Two Rocks podcast. This is your host, Josh Levinson, and welcome to episode 20. Yes, I can't believe we made it. We, we've accomplished 20 in, I don't know, a little less than a year, so not quite on pace for every other week, but, uh, oh, Dan. Oh, nice. Um, that was the least authentic looking guy talking on a phone walking by I've ever seen. <laughs> Our friend Dan bad, just walked phone by, caller. and he did look so fake. Like he, did, it's like somebody paid him to walk right in front of. Just the walking around, being normal. <laughs> Do you think that's what he says to himself when he's walking around town? <laughs> yes, be normal. <laughs> they think I'm normal. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Uh, those sultry tones you hear, as always, as almost always, are my co-host Colin Ryan. Welcome back. Yes, good to be back. We missed you last time. You know, it was, I uh, felt missed. Yeah. I know you didn't listen to it, so... Of course not. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was tough to try to make jokes with, like, four young gentlemen who were there to on a mission. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Not to joke, but to do real things in society, so that was stupid. Yeah, now that's tough when people want to do more than just joke. Yeah, I know. Like, what is with that? Mm-hmm. Lame. So anyway, um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, it's episode 20, um, and I don't exactly know when we're going to release it. I'm not sure if it'll be this week or next week, but if it's this week, I'm doing a comedy show on Saturday, July 13th at the Regal Beagle, 8 p.m. It's $10, but if you're friends with me, if you hear this, I'll charge you 5 Just be like, I listen to your podcast, and I will be so impressed you go only have to pay 5 That's uh, great. That's a good strategy. Yeah, I think so. So, loyal, loyal listeners. Um Otherwise, July 26th, we're doing another show at the Art Plus Studio, BYOB, so that'll be fun. So you um, just put a value on each podcast listener. It's $5. It's $5, exactly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, re- I want more audience members than I need the 5 bucks. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, I think the shows go better when there's an audience, and if I, like, I don't make a bajillion dollars, it's okay. Absolutely. But doing comedy to an empty room of two people who pay $10 <laughs> is also the harrowing experience. <laughs> so... Yeah. All right. Cool. Plugs out of the way. Uh, our guest this week, I'm very excited. Somebody I've been considering for a long time to have on the podcast. He's the owner and CEO of C Click Fix, which I hope many of you have heard of. Uh, welcome, Ben Berkowitz. Thanks for having me. I'm yeah. glad uh, you finally I made the cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't want to blow your wad like right away, right? right. You want to like take time and like, you know, yeah. slow burn. You can't have every ge- great guest right yeah. in the beginning. You we know? had to get good before you came on. That's exactly. right. And I had to log into Facebook and say that you invited me six months ago. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to wait another month to email you. And uh, and then that all happened in like three days. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's funny. That's how the dance goes. <laughs> it's That's a real it. Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> <laughs> reverse. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Uh, it's exciting to have you here. So uh, if ever, if people don't know, Sleek Kick Fix is a app slash website where you can basically um, complain <laughs> about your city and uh may hopefully get a more direct way of communicating with your city rather than just like calling the you know city building department and they're just like straight to voicemail Mm -hmm. out of here but you you maybe have a better synopsis than that right (laughs) yeah we like to think of it as helping as opposed to complaining but okay yeah yeah sometimes it does come out as just complaining yeah that's fair the city needs to hear from you absolutely want to hear from you in a constructive way and yeah. they want to be able to constructively communicate with you. Okay. But that's not typically how communication happens with cities. So. Certainly not. Yeah. yeah. And also people on the internet, you know, sometimes yeah. behave badly. The internet is a bad place. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'd say it's more amoral than immoral, but <laughs> yeah. it's hard to tell. Mm. Um, so basically the way you use the app is like say you have a pothole or something on your road. You would like basically open up the app and be like, hey, here's where I am. Maybe even take a picture of the pothole. That's an option. Yep. And then, you know, Doug gets the email, ignores it for six months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We end up in a fist fight at a local meeting. Yeah. You know, two years later, pothole's filled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Magic totally. of government. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Transparency. <laughs> So I think we're really selling the app so far. Yeah, no, <laughs> no that's you nailed the mission right there. <laughs> no. Everyone knows who Doug is. Just, <laughs> right. you know. Well, Doug's been on the podcast, you know. Picture so. a public official you don't like. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> some faceless white male bureaucrat. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, so the app, um, you get, you know, iPhone, Android, et cetera. That's um, it. Those are the two. Those are the two. <laughs> it is not compatible with your Windows <laughs> phone. <laughs> so just you know what? <laughs> I tell you, I, a Romanian guy built a Windows 7 C Click Fix app when that was the thing. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, wow. Is I'm, it a Romanian guy that you hired to build it? No, no. Or just a no, fan? He just built it on the on the API. Yeah. yeah. Wow, amazing. And then uh, BlackBerry built their own because we want to build a BlackBerry one, which turned out to be a good call. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. nice. Sometimes it's better if they just do it for you, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. And then go out of business quietly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you think that was the thing that put them out of business? <laughs> we spent a billion dollars on that C-Click <laughs> fix app. <laughs> Terrible idea. It was. It was a terrible idea. Yeah. Um, so you started this whole thing because you wanted to get some graffiti cleaned up in your neighborhood over on State Street, right? Yeah. Yep. And you were not having any luck, any traction with the government? Yeah, or my neighbor. Or your neighbor. Which was stop number one. Okay. Well, how, is, how is that stop number one? Well, were they I, doing the graffiti? No, I went over and asked him if he would just remove it from the back of his building because the back of his building was the front of our building, effectively. So it didn't okay. affect him. It affected us. Yeah. And it wasn't, you know. It wasn't I think nice I was graffiti. being, yeah, I was like being more of an art critic than I was being like an right. an, anti, like, uh, anti blight this is, person. This yeah. is tacky, you yeah. know. Right. These colors don't go together. Exactly. That's a ridiculous letter sequence. Exactly. <laughs> That's not my gang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clearly a blood, <laughs> and this crip stuff. Yeah, just exactly. Gonna... <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Do we swear on this podcast? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so like you're a motherfucker just doesn't resonate. Oh, is know? that what it said? Just yeah. you're a motherfucker. I was like, oh. I was, and he was just like, no, I see the artistic merit of this you're a motherfucker. <laughs> I just actually, I think I said shit on NPR yesterday and Lori Mackett may have had to edit it. So I just oh, wanted nice. to test yeah. out actually no, swearing no, like no, the no. way I want to swear. Mm-hmm. On no, it. you're yeah. fine. You will have to say something pretty bad to beat us yeah. the bunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, I we find it's best to wait about 35 Five minutes into the podcast before you let the really deranged thoughts fly yeah so by then we've lost most of the listeners right so like real long sure. tail there <laughs> yeah. sure. I, I mean when you said who your guest were, was i'm sure you lost doug you know yeah <laughs> no, yeah and then no, and now you're is, back at zero yeah. yeah doug's a loyal listener yeah. <laughs> and tony harp is too busy fighting for her life to uh tune in so you know maybe she came on the podcast she wouldn't be in this mess <laughs> so anyway so you made so you're are you a programmer? Uh I'm a hack. You're a hack. I feel like I'm a hack at all things. Okay. I mean that yeah. feeling yeah, I'm a hack certainly when it comes to comedy. <laughs> yeah. But also probably programming. But I mean I am a developer, so in as a profession. So Yeah. But you know. Uh, like but I mean, did you start uh, doing it yourself? Yeah. So you had this idea, like, what if there was a way because there was like sort of a thing, right? Like a web three eleven that or that came out at the same time. Like was there anything like oh. that at all? Right. Uh, City of New Haven had, they called it Web 3 on 1. Yeah. Which was from Not a like company. 311 the band, sorry. Right. So that would be a Commonly better service confused. where you could just like request 311 to come to your house. They're always sing, waiting. Amber is the color of your energy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. No, I don't want to stop that. No, I mean, listen, I hate 311. And if I ever foresaw a future where I was singing 311 on my podcast, <laughs> I would have. Yeah, I would have. I would have. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You know, they say that it gets better after high school. They lied. All right, sorry. So wait, going back to the graffiti, had, what was the resolution with the, the neighbor? Nothing happened and you... Yeah, and so the neighbor was not a great neighbor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, was it Doug? <laughs> it was not Doug. <laughs> Everything goes back to that guy. If it was Doug, you can just wink at us. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it wasn't Doug. Okay. Can, can they see me winking on the on the? No, that's radio? the secret. That's how we'll oh. know. But we'll just blow up your spot immediately. Is it someone we know? Can I also tell people I'm good looking and they'll believe that? Yeah, I mean it is. If if you, you are if you're curious, Ben Berkowitz is very good looking. So I don't know. Uh, on I'm radio, not sure. like on radio. right now. Yeah, no, just in real life even. Um, but you, so I don't know if you're cruising for lo- dudes, ladies. But uh, if you're looking, you know, mm-hmm. Ben is yeah. come by yeah. the window. Come yeah. by the window. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend to walk by on your phone. It looks so natural. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you know, married, but you know. Thanks. All right. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Sorry. Well, you know, is it not no harm in looking though? You well, know? you know, Sometimes at you there is so, <laughs> at you. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. People can look at me. Yes. Right. 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 On the okay. radio. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be a picture associated with this podcast. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> sorry, we made you uncomfortable. So the neighbor who we don't know. Yeah. Was he, a bad neighbor. Yeah, he didn't resolve it. And okay. He, 
was pretty clear that he wasn't going to. Mm -hmm. And then we said we were going to resolve it ourselves, and he was clear that we would be trespassing if we did that. Okay. So she so was just like, "We're going to paint over it," and he's like, "I will fight you." Yeah. Cool. What was his exactly. attachment to that graffiti? Just that it pissed us off. Yeah. It's that kind of neighbor. Mm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Most guys. of my decisions are based on spite. So I get yeah, it. Yeah, it was spite. It was me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You would think a nurse would have prevented me. But... So you're so, like, I'm going to make an app, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So, well, then I called City Hall. Okay. And when I called City Hall, I left a lot of voicemails. Mm -hmm. And then when I got people on the phone, they didn't really know how... Right, they graffiti on talks. yeah, like yeah. graffiti on private property. How is that dealt with? What authority do we as a city have to remove it? Mm -hmm. Do we have anti blight ordinances where we can find people so that it's incumbent on the the uh, landowner to remove it? You know, all yeah. those things were kind of like undocumented internally, mm -hmm. so the external communication was piss poor. And uh, at some point, while waiting on hold, I just thought, oh, man, I bet my neighbors have reported, like, very similar things, had very similar experiences. Yeah. What if I could see that? What if they could see what I'm reporting? That would maybe solve some of the challenges that I'm having in this communication. And that was... You'd always know you weren't alone. Yeah. In misery. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. some empathy in your... And maybe the city has some sort of metrics for like, oh, actually, there's like 12 people complaining about this right. problem. Can you get mm -hmm. the microphone a little closer to your mouth there, yeah. Ben? Let's yeah, let's do that. I know you are very good looking, and it does obstruct your face. I, no, I, I admit I, it. It's a huge blow to my own psyche. I feel like my mouth, like I have a nice mouth, a pretty mouth. And, you know, <laughs> we were all thinking it, but uh, right, I disruptive. usually keep thoughts like that to myself. I right. find it's just better to. That was, that was it. Minute 32. That. It just happened. <laughs> Cullen was thinking it. He did yeah. just want to admit it. It's yeah. fine. He's yeah. not in touch with this masculinity. It's okay. Did that graffiti ever get cleaned up? It did. Oh. <laughs> not by the city. No, oh, the was guy it? did it. No, the, I think my neighbor ended up removing oh, it. Oh, really? So one, somebody secretly in the dead of the night. Yeah. Just oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, vigilante justice is the only way. We yeah. learned anything from the mass maniacs, you know? W the um, That said... A few months later, after we had built Cyclic Fix, this guy had gone down State Street and hit like 17 buildings. I went out and took photos of each one, mm -hmm. came back, posted them on the site, and because we didn't have a mobile app at the time, it was just a website. Um, and there was someone out there fixing, they had already fixed like three of them within three hours. And it turns out that, so that we had sent a notification to LCI. LCI had notified their contractor. Contractor came out. I went out to, uh, mobile gas station it was mobile at the time um, to go get some dog important food. detail yeah gotta, it's mobile it's, yeah if it was like one of those BPs like nobody wants that yeah I mean, this is <laughs> the art of storytelling this whole thing's a lie <laughs> it's not even an app this is all happening in some alternate universe <laughs> <laughs> We've all taken Molly, and this is just yeah. a journey. This is not real. This is not real. It's like the weirdest trip ever. It's like, what did you do on your trip? I invented an app that helps me engage with government services. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible journey. You know, you like, wake up, we're relief. <laughs> Ayahuasca is crazy. It's true. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so you, you convinced the city to use this app. I mean, that must yeah. have been a weird pitch meeting, right? So it wasn't a pitch meeting, so that's the interesting thing about Cyclic Fix. We mm -hmm. just signed them up to start receiving alerts. You uh, just like, automatically like, well, I yeah. know your email is. So. Yes, because their email is public, right? Right, That's, sure. You have rights to that. You can send them communication. <laughs> is so, that what you shouted and, at them? I so have rights we. to this. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to yell yeah. when I'm winning an argument, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so did it start as all just email notifications? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was all email notifications. And then we gave them a way to, anybody a way to mm -hmm. easily come on and change the status out. So if you resolved it, mm -hmm. solved the problem, you can close it out. Right. Mm -hmm. So it was actually sort of an independent thing totally. to begin with. Totally. It yeah. was more of a um, just a messaging system. Right. Cool. And then, so you could, in theory, sign up another city and just be like, hey, I'm going to add Austin because I know the 12 Austin emails or whatever, right? You know? Yeah, in Austin, actually, we didn't have to... Austin specifically, we didn't have to do email because they have something called Open 3 on 1, which is a data standard which we um, uh, wrote the spec for, the draft, okay. the draft spec for. And um, Not to brag. Yeah, not to brag. Cam wrote it. You know, not, I didn't write it. So, okay. Yeah. Well, do, do, should we know who Cam is? Yeah, Cam was my co-founder. So he okay. actually, he I would refer to him as the initial developer. On okay. Because I was more the designer. Gotcha. Could I have hacked together pieces of it? Yes. Did I? Not really. I mean, All right. mostly nice. the. Good job, Cam. Is he still design. with the company, or? Yeah, he's a board member. Oh, cool. Yeah, 
Yeah. Nice. He's in Philadelphia. He left us like everyone does. Yeah. Hey, we're still here. <laughs> Got yeah, dark. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Calm down. <laughs> so we're gonna, sorry. We're the last yeah. ones holding the candle. All right. Just yeah. calm down. It's so actually, I think that trend is changing, by the way. People leaving New Haven? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think it's getting no. better. I think the population grew very slowly. No, I think if we say it here on yeah. this oh, true, to true. our audience of Doug. It's like a mm-hmm. collective lie that we all choose to yeah. agree to believe. Yeah. yeah. Like religion or uh, right. that things are going to get better someday. New yeah. Haven is the fastest growing city in New England. Right. And the second fastest growing religion is that true? in New That's Haven. That's really true. Because I feel like it's got to be Boston, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's a, of a of a certain size. I mean, that's like a oh, much okay. larger city. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, I didn't know that. Of cities of New Haven's exact population, it's yeah. the fastest growing. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's true. I mean, there's it's a pretty small portion of comparable cities. So you're talking yeah. about man, people can say whatever the fuck they want on podcasts, and no one's gonna check them. I love yeah, that. Nobody's gonna fact check. Yeah, so we're you know ahead. what? A lot of New work Haven involved is in that. actually the biggest city on the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's growing that Could quickly. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> nope. Yeah. All right, I guess this is true. Uh, so, Sweet Cake Fix is ten years old over now, right? Yeah. So, and you know, it's so we say it's kind of the post startup phase, right? It's not like people call it a startup. I feel like, but it's not, yeah. not really because it's tech. I think that it's tech, do and that. it's not like huge. Yeah. So it's right. like um, how many people work there? Thirty something. Thirty something. Yeah. All right. So, like, where do you where do you want this company to go now? Because it's like. Uh, because you do yeah. sort of have a very specific niche, right? Yeah, and we have market dominance in the niche, so it makes it easier for us to be a preferred partner with larger vendors, which has been helpful. We have a strategic partnership with a asset management company that helped us grow a bit faster last year. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, asset think, management companies, I know, so, so sexy, so mm-hmm. sexy, <laughs> exactly. Fire hydrants. When was your fire hydrant last serviced? Well, that is something you need to be thinking about. Nice. I mean, in, I live in Edgewood, so probably never. Right. <laughs> no, that's that, well, I don't know. I, the Girl Scouts actually did a good job of painting all the fire hydrants. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say the Girl Scouts did a good job of servicing the fire hydrants. Like, <laughs> wow, they are really that's expanding what they do. their reach. <laughs> yeah. They keep putting out fires. It's like, listen, it's no we can deal. only sell cookies for two months a year. What are we going to do for the other 10 months? Right. <laughs> exactly. So is there something that's stopping you from signing up every city? Like you said initially, that it's that yeah, you just- it's like the slow process they would have to of opt government. Out. Yeah, city, like, yeah, what is it? Oh, like? no, yeah. Technically, anyone could sign up mm-hmm. uh, all the cities. We don't typically go about it. I mean, a citizen can sign them, a city up. A city mm-hmm. can sign themselves up for free. That happens organically on a daily basis. We don't have a process of doing that. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? A city can just, like, sign up yeah. organically? Yeah. So how do you... Oh, so you don't make money. No, we do. But that's, okay. <laughs> so it's, it's freemium in that sense. So there's um, like there's a limited number of features, including oh. closing out an issue, receiving an alert once gotcha. reported gotcha. in their right, area. Right, right, right. We have a full service request management and work order system, mm-hmm. which they pay for. Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. So there's like 300 and, I don't know, close to 400 cities that pay C-Click Fix. Nice. How that's many cities are there yeah. total? In the United States? Yeah. Uh, 18,000, I think. Towns. 18,000? Municip- well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're not kidding. You're going to go after every town, be. right? Like, Well, the interesting thing is we actually have a lot of small towns. Uh, okay. As we started to build out more, there's only- Do you have Coventry, Connecticut? Because I could try to work don't. on them Let's work on you. Coventry. All right. Yeah. yeah. Let's, get, let's get that very limited demographic. For small towns, it's less <laughs> about crowdsourcing and more about internal work order and mm-hmm. solving the problems as the public, you know- yeah. Public servant, right? So, like, I see the pothole. Right. I fix the pothole. I document that I'm fixing the pothole. Right. Yeah. It's just not in the pothole budget this year. Dolores, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> so, they really just need a system to manage their, yeah, their work manage their work. For, like any yeah. business operation. Okay. Yeah. And they're yeah. all, even small towns are decent. So, I mean, they're bigger than most small businesses, mm-hmm. right? Is there any uh, towns that are towns or cities that have been resistant to using it for one reason or another? Yeah, there's been towns that have been resistant to the transparent nature of it. Mm-hmm. Um, externally, do you want to put those internally? cities on blast right now? Or? Totally. Let's just call them all out. Okay. Um, Cincinnati. <laughs> Interesting. Cincinnati. I don't know. We're not working with Cincinnati. It's that chilly. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's that it skyline be. chilly. It just <laughs> yeah. upsets them and they can't be transparent, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We have. Uh, how, is it, how does New Haven rank? Um,. I don't know how they rank in terms of what we call fixer cities. I probably should have done the research on that. Um, they have <laughs> made. They no, have, no, no. We don't need to prepare for this. That would just yeah. come off as inauthentic. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. 
That's yeah. fine. And I won enough anyway. So. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, great comfort. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Do you want to make up a number, or uh, yeah. I'm not going to be invited back? <laughs> um, you want me to? I mean, you we know how I get. You know how I fine. get invited back. I say that New Haven is horrible, right? right. Uh, yeah, I don't not. know. It doesn't really matter. Good uh, or bad <laughs> would be good. Middle would be boring. You know. Yeah. Anything really good or really bad would be solved. How do you how do you measure the the metrics and what you're looking for for no, a city? Is it just yeah. high usage? Is it essentially high that? usage on the citizen side and on the government side? Okay. Response time. Um, response uh, response time across departments, right? So, like, you can have certain de- departments where things fall through the cracks. You can mm-hmm. have um, what it, where I personally won't judge a city is like if a city can't fix things, but they're communicating that yeah. they can't fix things. Uh, I'm kind of yeah. like, I get that. Like this mm-hmm. this whole municipal budget thing is not like a pretty thing that um any knight in shining armor is going to be able to come in and save. Mm-hmm. There's I like hu- especially in Connecticut and especially with <clears throat> mid-sized cities. Like yep. the, the economics are very bad. Pensions have put us in a bad place. Like Aging infrastructure has put us in a bad place. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and the suburbs don't want to help out. And so. the suburbs don't want to help out. No. And we don't want to help out the suburbs, so we don't cave on anything. So when you try to pass something like weed or tolls, which give everyone the money that they need... If the money's going to the wrong part of the state, we're all just say fuck it, and we're not going to get the money, right? Mm-hmm. And we'll point fingers at someone else, and somehow as politicians, feel the good tolls about like it, so. I get, you know, stupid. The weed thing is just wild because it's just like, how did we? How did? Uh, anyway, yeah, that one's a no brainer. Yeah, it's just like, and especially like a pretty democratic legislator. How mm-hmm. are there still like conservative Dems who are like, oh, I don't know, what about the kids? And I'm like, oh, what well, year? No, because that's not what they're. It's not what it's about. It's you about where think? the money goes. It yeah. was a hundred percent about the fact that the suburbs were going to end up with more of the benefit from it than uh, the cities. And yeah. so the folks in the cities said, no, this is about us. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's Politics. Great. Does the city? Do people at the city ever complain that there's? Uh, I guess. Sorry. Excuse me. I guess it has to do with the transparency, but it's kind of like. One of the biggest reported things, I assume, is like potholes and kind of low-hanging fruit. But the city really r- repairs the potholes every year. They just right. go around at a certain time. There's a schedule. So you could be reporting yeah. it. I have like a a perennial pothole in front of my house that's like every – I could report it like crazy, but I yeah. know that they come out once a year. Right. You know, Are they annoyed about dealing with – No, I don't think so because they, they have a technique. Cold patch is the technique they use yep. for temporary patching. And if you don't hit that with your car and then tr- ask them for money to – yeah. fix your car that is a better place for them right yeah. or mm-hmm. if an accident happens as a result of a puddle or cyclist gets killed i mean there's like a lot of liability reduction in them being able to know mm-hmm. i gotta right. say that as a bike rider you really feel the potholes in your balls the most right mm-hmm. <laughs> right so yeah it really i really feel like it. if you're going to a sporting event and you have like basketballs on the back of your yeah that's what we're talking Always. about here Sure. You're talking about his testicles. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I meant my testicles. genitals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I could see how that was not clear. Yeah, but, uh, no, no, I thanks. meant my genitals. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying. No for problem, your, man. For the I just like I that was my bad. Because yeah, I didn't understand. Yeah, it was fine. You know, you have an innocent mind. I appreciate that mm-hmm. about you. <laughs> um, I once opened a ticket for a light was out under the like oh cave in, I don't know it was like on the way to the train station that like overpass oh, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I opened. Yeah, just the light. once that light's been out. Only once. It was probably the time you were going under there. All the other times, it's always. I would on. say a year and a half later, they just closed the ticket, and they yeah. were just like, Ugh, "Whatever." They probably said, <laughs> it's like, "We're not even sure." You want to know about those underpasses? <laughs> I am. I have historically been cyclic fixed for those underpasses, meaning that someone you, reports that. Yeah. That is Condot's responsibility. This Connecticut DOT. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I personally email Kevin Nursick, the head of communications for Condot, to say the lights are out again. Nice. Because when those lights go out, it's typically not a light bulb went out. It's an actual electrical failure. Oh, the really? Bridge. Yeah. And they usually go out for like months. So when I was living on Upper State Street, my whole neighborhood was cornered by three underpasses, right? Yeah. What? And, yeah. It, you know, when you, it kind of feels daunting when the gateways to your community are totally for sure. unlit. So. So I feel um, like we never... Like Fix was a failure on that, though. I feel like I did a good job by emailing the right guy. That's right, but it shouldn't come to that. That's yeah. like a huge like black box problem totally. in terms yeah. of like... Condot, by the way, still not a client. Not a, not a scalable not solution. A so this is Condot's problem, really. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I feel like we didn't quite... Um, so you, we talked about like what, like what do you... How do you like long term grow, right? Because there is a limited like amount of cities yeah. out there, right? And so you worked with some asset asset, asset management company, sorry, and 
Yeah, I think so other you, like, other big it, companies you know? like other big companies that are entrenched that can be reselling or getting C click fix into their client base quicker seems to be the way that we could grow quicker. Okay. Yeah. And, and so, so that's just, that's been working. Okay. And so you're kind of like you're pretty happy with your sort of like growth situation right now. Like yeah. you know. Yeah, I mean you always want it to be faster, but we're not gonna be like a breakout consumer tech. Right, right, right. I mean that's like a totally different model. Like the way to do that. Mm-hmm maybe theoretically would be to like build the entire thing make it free and then do the thing that everyone else does on the internet when something is free which is like data s- stalk you in your sleep right yeah, yeah. sell your, your like, users data perfect exactly like really get to know your potholes <laughs> in, in uncomfortable ways do you um, have any are there any other um features or kind of something other tech that you would jump to let's say you signed up every every city in the country and you had literally yeah. nowhere every city in the world nowhere else to grow do you yeah. have ideas for sure how to get bigger from there yeah uh we have been doing more work uh in we've been doing more things that touch other parts of like the civic mm-hmm. experience right so like we've done a bunch of work around like notifying you when your trash book pickup is mi- is going to be delayed or right mm-hmm. um uh, like people, registering to vote, you know? Yeah, like, hey. there's like some of that like that gets hacked into the service, what we call the service request model, how mm-hmm. potholes and illegal dumping get reported right yeah. now. Um, but I, I think that we could be more deliberate about helping you apply for a permit as an example, right? Okay. And like doing yeah. it in the kind of cyclic fix way where like if Colin is my neighbor and he applies for a swimming pool permit, maybe I get notified, right? Yeah. Um, I think that kind of stuff is interesting. So. Having applied for a lot of permits, the situation is arduous currently. Yeah. It's brutal. Yes. And yeah, there I mean, is software that like, it's a, that's a weird space. There's like software for business permit application and there's software for food safety inspection and they're like kind of regionally based. It's a weird fragmented market. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of, I don't know. It's an interesting place to potentially apply a unified skin or interface for citizens to make life. Uh, I hate to interrupt yep. this permit-based discussion, but uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, um, now yeah. we lost all the listeners. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So it has to be challenging to work with city governments, right? Because governments are certainly notoriously slow, notoriously, I don't want to say anti-tech, but certainly not on the up and up when it comes to tech. You know yeah. what I mean? And so like, how do you, you know, it's got to be a challenge to sort of get buy-in from these cities, right? It had been historically, though, honestly, these days, I think that's much less true. People of our generation or our generation's mindset or younger are yeah. coming in. Are you to, implying that we're in the same generation? Uh, Is I'm that... trying to imply that. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see me. Uh, right you're now. old and we're very young. I don't know. I'm no, also <laughs> 25. <laughs> Amazing. So he showed up on a skateboard. So that's true. Yeah. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Right in the middle of a midlife crisis. (laughs) So the crisis is really extending out. (laughs) Right. It's getting through to a whole midlife like phase of his life. Do you look at the app as more geared towards um, the citizens, or is it really the the cities themselves that are that are the users of it? Um, At this point, it's both. I mean, definitely when we started, it was about the citizens. Mm -hmm. Um, but at this point, but then we you realize spend... citizens deserve nothing, right? Exactly. You finally got me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's the, the citizens don't don't pay your bills, so I'm wondering if it's if it's right. transitioned. Well, they do. You really by a degree of separation, right? right? They're mm-hmm. the taxpayers they pay, but um, and so we do have to walk an interesting like kind of line between being the the mediator for citizens and government. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, uh, and. There, you know, our terms of service clearly protect free speech, free constructive speech, and the government can't just silence people unless they're behaving really badly and mm-hmm. harassing people. Uh, and, but don't you wish they could, the though? Ultimate, totally. <laughs> so good. Um, I wish the government would just strap a muzzle on me. It'd be nice. <laughs> How do you do? You find it difficult to hire developers in New Haven or tech people? Yes. Yeah. What but do I don't know if that's a like in New Haven thing or mm-hmm. if it's just do I find it hard to hire developers full stop, right? Yeah, it's true. Probably Having not, not tried to hire developers outside of New any, Haven, right, I can't you, tell you. However, I know that everyone has trouble hiring developers everywhere. Okay. And I know that we mm-hmm. have all of the developers we need but one right now. So okay. we need a DevOps person. I, I actually heard about this literally today at LinkedIn. 
yeah, this I mean, lady like, contacted me like about it. Awkwardly and then, uh, looking at you. And then I feel the like table. she started flirting with me, which I thought was like interesting. Oh, cool. You know, Is this a, a recruiter of ours? I mean, I don't know. Should I report it to HR? <laughs> no, I think it's okay. It was. He I liked think, it. Yeah, I liked it. It's I fine. Know that that, harassment that, is I'm no. I'm not no, sure that's no yeah, harassment. I'm pretty is, sure that's not how it works. Harassment is technically unwanted advances. Exactly. So if they're wanted, you know, okay. it's fine. So maybe just <laughs> I feel like they just got somebody in just trouble. Said, Please harass me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they just got somebody in trouble. Boy, I feel bad about that. Oh, what are you gonna do? So <laughs> anyway, she's fired. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I heard you guys were looking, so but I I am out of the DevOps world, thank God. Uh, what are you doing with yourself? I'm a developer over at Yale Library. Yeah, so that's I do. Sweet. Yeah, how much do you regret writing your stack of Ruby on Rails? Not at all. Really? No. Nice. All right, I was curious. No, 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 no. I've, there's, I've heard there's a lot there's of scaling good, problems. Yeah, that's you know? like a that's like a BS. We've never had that issue. Okay. Um, and that is some like weird BS cliche thing that gets said in developer world that just doesn't seem to be real i don't know okay yeah. interesting yeah i don't know but yes i've heard that uh concern before but not internally okay nice um, that's good and i mean so most for of, devops person or yeah. the, do you know what the job description is <laughs> we can do a little job <laughs> posting right now <laughs> right yeah let's do it um i think that this person would work with uh justin gill mm-hmm uh, who is a senior developer? Okay. Um, who is Justin is ta- has taken on the responsibility of deploying all the mobile applications as well as keeping up, you know, all the servers and making sure that the sounds like a lot of work. are running on time. So he it's does a lot the whole thing. He needs yeah. support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, we have other <laughs> we have <laughs> other senior a... full stack developers yeah, yeah. who are. Filling in, but right, and you got Dan, who's not a developer, but a right. real sweetheart. Right, great nice guy. guy. Great you gotta guy. have Dan around. Yeah. Listener number two. <laughs> <laughs> He's great at sw- talking on the phone, walking around. <laughs> he's got good yeah. posture, also. I think that's maybe what you guys were noticing. Like it was the posture. He's tall, and he's, then he's like he does awesome. have great posture. He yeah. does. He acts normal almost all the time too. I mean, that feels like a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. So you're looking for a DevOps person. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I, I, I saw it. You know, people try to drag me back into DevOps, but I don't miss it. You know, all yeah. that pressure. But do you have everybody pressure. working in New Haven or do you have anyone remote? Except for two people. Okay. Three people as of last month. And did they used to be here and, yeah. and took off? Okay. Yeah. Los Angeles, Baltimore, and Denver, Colorado. Mm-hmm. Yep. So you don't look for, you don't want anyone to work remotely? Like you're not hiring devs? No, we somewhere else. try to have them local. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Is it just better for the productivity, or what, or it's company just culture, for or what? culture? And mm-hmm. I like supporting New Haven and Connecticut. And yeah, for sure. Plus, they built a <coughs> fancy new office. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want people to you come to the office. Absolutely. Yeah, you can't skateboard in the entire thing, yeah. right? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. You can. Yeah, I. Uh, they they were C Click Fix was kind enough to host a meetup recently new haven io uh-huh. of which i'm a member i guess the board member uh it's hard to keep track of everything i get involved in <laughs> but uh yeah it's a nice office it's pretty it's pretty sweet you yeah know? it's awesome we yeah. just hung out and played like nintendo switch in that's like, what the i kitchen want you to area. do yeah yeah i so. stopped by just to go visit dan nice yeah ben was working in his glass cube <laughs> yeah yeah sweet yeah they're pretty it's pretty sweet um yeah. All right. What was the next one? It's my glass cage of emotion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what? You just what? rage in there. <laughs> no Cry. One, they tell me no one can see, see me. You can't even see me in there. Right? <laughs> yeah. They say be, it's two way glass <laughs> when I walk in. Whenever would, I close the door, they say it's two way. It would be cool. If somebody built a feature where when you started crying, it frosted over. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> like a she bathroom. Humidity's going <laughs> yeah. up in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like, do you ever see like the like the gifts online where it's like a bathroom and like somebody gets into it and then they hit the lock it like becomes uh, non yeah. it's like yes. frosted yeah. yeah yeah but like that except for crying yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's great I think it's like a real we're gonna run with this we invent one new thing every yeah. podcast <laughs> this is good we should get over to Make Haven and start working on it yes absolutely yeah. I got a few things I gotta sew too so this will work out nicely yeah, you know I got some sewing machines all glass should really go from clear to frosted that's right. Except what happens is I end up touching it on the wrong side, and then I ruin it with my gross, mm. sweaty fingers. So, uh, what cities are best using your app? Detroit. Detroit is up there. Detroit is really good. Okay. Uh, Oakland is really good. Okay. Memphis. 
Memphis. Yeah. Nice. All these like mid sized cities with mm. a lot of problems. Okay. But like good IT staff. And people who care enough people to be who like. really give a shit about the city, just like New Haven. And New Haven is really good at using it, by the way. Is it? Okay. But man, like. You couldn't leave with that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, they are really good <laughs> at using it. But, like, they, but they've, you know, there's there's been low points, right? Like yeah. Like in all. In, in all I actually got to organizations, you know, you have low low points in response and it depends on departments and yeah. um, you know, people always email me about the tree thing and uh, the best I can say about the tree thing is like we have a lot of fucking trees. And what's the tree thing? Oh, there's like thousands of tree trimming that requests trees? that are backlogged. Oh, mm-hmm. I was gonna say. I was like, we don't I agree. Enough. There are trees. We should stop them. <laughs> hey, get rid of those. Um, Owl City, I say parking lot city. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we have one of the densest tree canopies, urban tree canopies in the U.S. Yeah. And under the last administration, to cut the cut budgets, they I think they cut the parks department in half, and it's never okay. been added back to. Gotcha. And so the current parks director has just been up against an onslaught of mm-hmm. requests, and you know, and the and they're it's under the parks department, so they also have to maintain. All, we have a lot of parks in New Haven. They have to maintain. That's right, including all our park, the best space. park of all. The best park. There the is no other park. park of all. <laughs> exactly. I think Edgerton's pretty nice. I don't know. I think it's a Hamden bougie. Park technically, but we manage it. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Classic New Haven problems exactly. metaphors right there. <laughs> exactly. Technically part of Hamden, somehow our problem. <laughs> right. Um, cool. So, did you grow up in New Haven? Yeah. Okay. Born and raised. Yeah. Nice. I was born at Yale. So have you been in? You were born at Yale. Yeah, nice. At the hospital. Yeah. Cool. Uh, have you lived in like every neighborhood? No. Okay. I have lived in Westville. Mm-hmm. And then I went off to school, and then I came back. And Where'd I you go to school? GW in DC. GW. Yeah. Okay. I came back and I lived in Fairhaven, right on the river. Okay. And then I lived on State Street, and then I moved back to the street I grew up on and bought what? a house there. Yeah, and it's the street my dad grew up on too. Oh so, wow! Wow! Good legacy. Three different houses on Alden Avenue. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. At least you did eventually. You did live in DC for a bit, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like I grew up in Connecticut and went to Yukon. Yeah. Like that's pretty sad. <laughs> like you were like. You've never lived anywhere else? I was like, oh, I already don't like these people. Why Why <laughs> yeah. take a risk somewhere else? <laughs> right. Yeah. That seems complicated. <laughs> exactly. All my stuff is here. You know, who wants to get involved in all that? Yeah. So Stuff is complicated, too. I stuff mean, is complicated. I would complicated. like a lot less stuff. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I bought a house. So I'm like, I want more stuff. Oh, do you? Oh, I would gladly, <laughs> like, take my basement and give you my basement. What's in your basement? I don't know. That's the problem. Oh, really? Yeah. Creepy. I mean- <laughs> I think that's what a house is best for. You can just stick yeah. your stuff in the attic and basement. Exactly. Like it's Never brilliant. think about it again. Got a garage. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. It's full of Until stuff. Until you want to like move to a different house. But you I never own it. move. Yeah, why would you move? <laughs> that's a good point. I mean, I don't know. I just, like, I now that I own my it. Whole childhood. Maybe it's now a good point. Now I know. Mm-hmm. You've been to my mom's house, Colin Ryan, right? Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet pool. Sweet pool. Oh, you got a pool? Sweet pool parties. Oh, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. I was actually just writing a Between Two Rocks article about ways to beat the heat, and Ben Berkowitz's pool just got added to the yeah. list. Top yeah. of the list. It's, it's actually my mom's pool. <laughs> yeah, to Either be way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah. I feel like when I signed my mortgage, I was like, yep, this is where I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is where they're going to find me. <laughs> Sliced your it. hand open, just put a palm print on there. <laughs> <laughs> Was that like mid panic attack or was that comforting for you? I don't even know because there was literally like I just did it alone. I just didn't know what I was doing. It was just me and like my buddy who's a lawyer and like I signed like I don't know my my signature a hundred times. He's like and then it was over. I was like, huh. He's like, this is a big deal. I was like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. This feels normal. So were you, like, <laughs> were you doing this mantra while you were signing? You're like, it's going to be a bike lane. It's going to be a bike lane. Oh, be yeah, kind of. Yeah, well, that yeah. worked out really well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently went out to bid. I don't know. It's every. I feel like once a year I see something in the New Haven Independent making an empty prompts to me about this bike lane. Somebody. Hey, Doug. Somebody. Yeah, no, he knows. <laughs> it was, yeah, he knows. But, uh, yeah, supposedly it's happening. There were there were a lot of apparently local business owners who, you know, felt, who had to be dealt with, you know, and yeah, they were like, one. we have parking. St- there, was, there was one. <laughs> there was one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it happening? And is it going in or what? Not even that good. Anyway, what is it going in? I mean, it was apparently there was a bid for there's a proposal, you know, RFP or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I think that's like the next step, and then they're gonna start in the summer. I don't think it'll be yeah. until next year, is what it sounds like. So yeah, it sounded like it was like a three month total construction project once they had the contractor. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Doug kept like when I was buying the house, Doug's like, you know, houses near a bike lane get added value. I'm like, okay, yeah. Doug. <laughs> it's like, have you seen my block? I think it probably won't be. As much I as don't. Know. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I love your neighborhood though. Actually, a friend of mine got an I think an NIH grant, pretty substantial NIH grant, to okay. me- measure the health impacts of the cycling that cycling lane. No, oh, really, mm-hmm. the neighborhoods. Uh, I would totally agree with Doug. I don't have any numbers, but I think bike lanes are like the new like subway stop in a yeah. in a small yeah, city. No, I agree. It'll I think it's great. a huge difference. So yeah. Even anything near the canal I don't trail, think it's the I just put so much more value like, on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's a sixty k. He says, but you know, I think I it don't know. Will. I think it could be, man. I think because it, it could be the it could be whether someone buys a house in the neighborhood or not, which I actually sure. becomes sixty k. I actually they, noticed mm-hmm. there's like two or three new young couples in my block i was like what is going on around here this used yeah. to be just families yelling that's edgewood skate park man yeah so that's the value of that's right so yeah. you're you're a big proponent of the skate park right you you i mean you were one of the leaders on that whole thing right so yeah. they, a that, lot of that us, already yeah. happened right uh yeah it's i mean it's yes we did a big update last summer but we're okay. constantly improving it okay yeah. yeah we were planting trees there yesterday yeah, i walk by pretty frequently and see lots of uh yeah it's very popular it's really active yeah it was nice. a very good use of government dollars they spent like hundred and ten thousand dollars and they hadn't spent a dime in 18 years or something nice. over there and it's do people just... ever yell you get out of here old man no Okay, maybe I'll come and do it. You should come do that. I'm actually not the oldest person who skates skateboards okay. there. I just look like the who's oldest the oldest person. person so we can yell at them until they leave. I don't know who the oldest is. There's a guy named John who I think was on the cover of the Register in the mid '80s, like jumping off the courthouse steps or something. And oh, John, cool. John shreds there. Action with, shot. Yeah, nice. With his dog Sweet Pea, who I think he actually found by the skate park. Wow. Sweet Pea's pretty old now, but okay. Sweet Pea pulls John through the. Skate and what park. gas station do you think John uses? <laughs> <laughs> is, this, uh, is this some plug for mobile again? Where are we going with this? Is it a power gas guy, or what do you think? Uh, I really like that cheap place on Whaley. <laughs> Drive a lot for comedy. You know how it is. Cool. My dad loves telling me that places have bad gas. And I'm like, isn't gas a very common commodity? I also feel like I it's pretty. It's all the same. I feel like it's well regulated, regardless. <laughs> I like would you imagine can't just like sell. Yeah. Bad it's coming gas. on common tankers. Yeah, I, I feel do. like he was. I feel like this is a thing that like our parents were victims, like generational victims, to like, yeah. some like really successful Exxon Mobil marketing. Yeah, yeah right? that's true. Right, you should pay I, like an extra dollar a gallon because the other stuff is bad. Yeah, when I worked yeah. at Stop and Shop, they first like built the Stop and Shop gas stations, mm. and they were like ninety eight cents a gallon, and people were like. Where are they getting this gas? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. it's funny you think they would tell us the right. 16 year old cashier. Like, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I assume it's fine. Like, I, I mean, nobody's cars exploded. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. That so. stop and shop property, the yeah. parking lot, yeah, with the gas station, yeah, that should be an apartment complex. On Willie? Yeah, that is a huge piece of property. That's a massive parking lot in a city that is expanding outwards. From so you're saying get rid of the stop and shop? No, I think you get rid I of the think, one grocery store. <laughs> no, I was saying keep the stop and shop and yeah. build. Stop and shop should be the anchor tenant for a very large apartment complex. So like build 360 up, states, like size. on top. Yeah, oh, it's a super block. It's a really big block. If you look, no, at it is huge. Yeah, and there's As somebody space rides on the their bike by it every day. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, and it's close to Wendy's or? and McDonald's and Burger King. Right. Great location. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> and also Yale University and <laughs> and a 750. I've not heard of this university. Million dollar Yale Hospital renovation on the other <laughs> side of it. Seems like it might be a development opportunity. At least nobody's paying taxes. That's the important part. And I think. So you guys want to buy stop and shop? That's where I'm going with this. <laughs> this is a pitch. Yeah, this is. A I want to write a, an article. Unlock some value. <laughs> I like this stop and shop because the stop and shop has like every type of human who is in New Haven in one place. You know what I mean? It's one of the only places you really come face to face with a very different. You know what I mean? You know why I like that stop and shop? Why is that? It's the one time I see my cousin Aaron. He works in the produce section. And okay. Just like get to catch mm. up with my cousin. Personal right. connection. You know, cousins are like hard to connect with. You know, like you have to. Make an effort, and yeah, you know they're not your siblings. My mm-hmm. cousins never came back from uh, the war. Mentally, I mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we also oh, do not keep in touch. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Uh, I think we're about the time we can start playing some games. So that's yeah. pretty, um, pretty Is that exciting. Not what we've been doing. No, I mean you know conversation is only these games are also basically just questions. Also, so yeah. it's fine. 
structured questions. We should. Mm. I was thinking we should get some sound effects, though. You know, we should maybe zany sound effects. Fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 Amen is uh, not pepper him in. Do you have a song that you want to use in particular? So, all right. The first game we're gonna play is called Steal Something. Great job, Colin. Is an improvement over one thing for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so steal something is basically we you want something that we can steal from another city that you would like to see in New Haven. You know. Yeah. So you know, previous suggestions have been the High Line or um, you know pedestrian only Burlington Vermont style or yep. you know any number of uh, cool things that other cities have. Somebody, what was one of them? <laughs> Dan Calway said something like the Empire State Building or something. Yeah. <laughs> just like lift the- He just uh, went yeah. for it. Yeah. I don't remember she what got it was. a Statue of Liberty here. No, no, no. They actually, he said the Daily Planet. He yeah, chose yeah. a fictional city. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it's a pretty open-ended, you, you know. Yeah. Baltimore's Harbor? Or oh, any city's yeah. harbor, right? Like a I think people have sort of talked about that a little bit. Yeah, yeah mm. I think that's. I have a. I mean, I think about this stuff a lot. So yeah. I agree. I I think something on the harbor makes a ton of sense. What do you think of the Long Wharf redevelopment plan? Uh, I mean, it feels nascent, and so I don't want to be too judgmental now, of it. Now I know but. what that word means, but let's pretend for a second that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's not going to happen for another twenty years. So okay, I'm not sure yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's what I, th- I knew that. I knew I, that. I don't like things that are like super <laughs> planned. Like you know, I like I want things to happen organically too, right? So like, I think a skate park should pop up over there, and I think we should yeah we maybe need to formalize build some of the taco carts in a more restaurant fashion yeah. where there's less garbage and. Even yeah. more people mm-hmm. and more seating. And um, I was over at um, Lenny and Joe's, you know, eating outside, and it was so nice because it's like on one side of the on one side of the um, dinner table you can see I ninety five and the traffic whizzing by, and then it's like if you're my girlfriend, she could look over and see all the oil tankers and right. the smoke mm-hmm. building. <laughs> <It's> right. Romantic, <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's it does it just it feels like I feel like there are some like almost impenetrable problems here in terms of like the dock area yeah. is like an economic engine of New Haven. I mean, it seems yeah. pretty popular, yeah. right? Yeah, and so that kind of like cuts some of it in half, right? Yeah. And then I ninety five. I mean, without somehow putting that into the ocean or something, I don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's true. I, there is still is a decent amount of land over there, though, and I think we can work with it. I think I think there's ways to make it. Happen. Or we and could just you know too. like add more land, right, and just like build it out. Isn't that like a thing? Is that where yeah. Manhattan came from? I mean, that's like that yeah. land that you're talking about is that. Right. Oh, the water used to come pretty close to here. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, so that's all. Oh, yeah. Info. If you ever look at the old maps, the, mm-hmm. the nine squares, the water came straight up to the nine yeah. squares, the corner oh, of wow. it. Oh, so yeah. wow. That would have like, been something. This was huh? waterfront yeah. where we're sitting right now. I said we just make it water again. And it will be again. Oh, no. Yeah. It's cool. Reclaim the water. You're <laughs> the, <saying. laughs> right. the environment very clearly has that plan. True, uh, true. And you can, I mean, a lot of the basements here are starting to get flooded pretty quickly. I like pedestrian promenade. I like fixing the bus system. I'm an active um, bus goer, and I think yeah. the Q bus and I think the two four two six two four six and two four three actually work really yeah, well. They two, just four, need three. to run later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but I'm okay with twenty minute intervals. Like, you, yeah, it's not the end of the world. That's t- fine, but that like twenty minute intervals till ten o'clock would be awesome. Even yeah. nine, but like in such a restaurant yeah, centric a, town, like let's make that happen and let's. You it know. is crazy, yeah. Because if mm-hmm. I leave here at like seven thirty p.m. and I miss the bus, I'm waiting an hour to get yeah. home. Like that's wild, you know. We live right in front of the bus stop, and it's we thought of it, it as an amenity when we bought it. Yeah, sixty thousand dollars added to the value of the house. But like <laughs> most people show. don't think about it that way. But like, how it could that nice. not? That's amazing. Like, no, it I is literally nice. before mm-hmm. the transit app, I literally just look out the window from my porch and can tell if the bus is coming from yeah. down the street. Mm-hmm. Being between two bus lines is. Uh, the name of my new blog. <laughs> yeah, between 246 and 243. That's right. Yeah. I was like, long. how could I make this blog game harder to say? Yeah. And this was the only thing I could think of. So well, that's good. Um, so, yeah, yeah, some sort of – it is very nascent, which is a word that I already knew, obviously. Um, yeah, it just seems like well, where's the $5 billion or whatever coming from to do this? You know? yeah. Like it's, yeah, that's why I think in a place like New Haven it's got to happen It just seems like why – yeah, it just seems mm-hmm. like why – why even build these far-reaching plans that disappoint yeah. ourselves and we could really just be like, okay, how could we spend a billion dollars right now? Can I tell you what? Uh, one thing I would no. love to steal, yeah, though? Yeah. Nice. Um, have you been to Wynwood in Miami? No. No. So Wynwood is like an outdoor- I'm not allowed in Miami. Cool. Just financially. Yeah. No, so. yeah, yeah. Well, Wynwood is a less expensive South Beach. Um, mm. It. I think it used to be chop shops and above- board 
auto repair shops and whatever else. Okay. Um, not many people were actually living there. There is one project housing complex, I think. But other than that, it's now become this like outdoor art gallery. It's I guess going to okay. be thirty mm-hmm. blocks of public murals, and it just seems like they're like whatever goes right. Yeah. I think Westville, Fair, maybe Fairhaven, like Westville Village or Fairhaven, like mm-hmm. having that like kind of creative like no holds bars on the like you can paint anything mm-hmm, and then back mm-hmm. to maybe full circle back to the initial question about graffiti like oh you that's know funny. like let people just let let people just yeah. paint whatever they want go crazy you know there's a, a really, famous this app has really changed you Ben. i think I, yeah, <laughs> yeah there's a famous street in detroit too i don't know the name but it's it's very similar to that that people um have just done all these public art pieces yeah. in their front yards and everything and it's it's become like a real attraction people drive to what was previously crumbling houses to go see this public art on the street yeah. so. and for us it's like it's not the crumbling houses in westville it's it's, it's whaley avenue it's just mm-hmm. totally destructive right like the traffic is super fast it's super like we need a way to slow that down and i think the best way to do it is to make westville look more interesting right mm-hmm. let's make yeah it there is a bit of no like, man's like, land there. yeah I yeah. did stop at Tomato Seafood, though, the other day. I got to say, pretty amazing. Really? Yeah. I've been wondering about that for a long time. Finally went there. I got the- mm, It's that have, pea gravel uh, out front that I'm like, woof, that looks inviting. I got a platter. for. T- it says for two. It was like the a biggest pile of seafood. So I was like, oh my god. Truly gosh. for four? So th- this is how you pick uh, where you're going to dine. You wait for the register to release the uh, failing health code inspections for the last week, and then you go and- Did you, they you, yeah, fail? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if Tomato Seafood is different than Willie. Seafood. It is. No. I think it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Whaley uh, Seafood. I think is a different place. Okay. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. They're both on Whaley. Yeah, but I think Demato's probably both on that list. <clears throat> I mean, whatever. No, only. Okay, maybe Demato. I, I shouldn't I say that. Yeah, I that don't was know. slander. I, I apologize, Demato Seafood. Different. No, yeah. you can if slander all you want. It's another nice thing about this podcast. <laughs> That's right. I mean, come at me. <laughs> please don't come at me. You guys just want them to be another listener. <laughs> exactly. Just, we're looking for sponsors. Ben slander you. You should listen to the whole thing. Okay, so um, I kind of like the public art <clears throat> on Long Wharf idea. Let's do that. Yeah, combine yeah. it all. Yeah, I think I just, just I like, West, there. Just I like Westville so because we'll there's already a lot of artists there, right? And so for sure, yeah. so maybe we'll say the mayor. Should we play mayor for a day then? So like, if I yeah, gave absolutely. you a million bucks, yeah, no questions asked, no yeah. strings attached for New Haven, what would you do with it? What do you think I'd do with it? I would. You'd make your skate park slightly nicer. No, I'd make lots of skate parks all over the city. So like, with a million dollars, you could do that. Yeah, you could do. You could. You could build four world-class regional skate parks wow. with a million dollars. Where would you put them? I would put one in Fairhaven. I'd put one in the Hill. I'd put one in New Hallville, and I'd do something either downtown or on Long Wharf. Is the yeah. demand there for that, or do you think it would that would foster yes more demand? Yes and yes, mm-hmm. definitely. And it's like there'd be ATVs going all direction. over that skate park. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it, but you know what? In in Westfield, like when they come to the skate park, we get the ATV kids out of there, and they do show up. And yeah. they, they like we say. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Yeah, I don't someone, yeah no, but there, we've should... had some like really. Int- this is why skate parks are great because yeah. you can have really confrontational conversations that are s- so much less aggressive than they are in the real world. Uh, just people handle hard stuff in skate parks. I don't know why it works that way, but it is. It sounds like the title of your book. <laughs> yeah, people handle hard <laughs> stuff in skate parks. Uh, it's been, I, I don't know. You're I, welcome. Good, good skate park <laughs> communities solve a lot of problems together, and I think that it's a good way of getting people all right. from all generations and all backgrounds to get together. And so I don't think that we should build four skate parks because – I like skateboarding. I think we should build them because I think it's the yeah. best social engine for taking young people, getting them together with young adults, getting them together with older adults. And he pointed at himself. I, I know did, you didn't yeah. see that. Did audience, the double point? Oh, this double isn't. Point, yeah. I'm not on video. Double old. <laughs> <laughs> double old. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look down on the hoverboards because they're not real skateboards? Uh, I mean, I'm supposed to as a skateboarder. But really? Man, oh, so they are frowned upon in the oh, in the yeah. skate community? Oh, yeah. I just oh. looked down on them because they're called hoverboards, and I'm like, come on. Oh, man. Count I think that. kids look so cool riding on those things. Yeah. Oh, they look cool. They just shouldn't be cool. A bunch of my coworkers have one wheels, and they're super fun. Yeah. We ride them around the office. Um, yeah, I mean, but as a skateboarder, I also look down on longboards, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Longboards super fun. Like, Yeah, I don't mm, know. I can't yeah. do any of that stuff. I just ride a bicycle because it's just easier. So, yeah. um, What about you, Colin? Million bucks? Yeah, what would you do? Public art on Longboard? I think. 
we should build those those ATV kids a dirt track one of these days oh, yeah. and stop yeah. talking about it. Yeah, right. I, I, do. Where I agree with that also. It's oh, not going to. Um, I think we should build it, know. but I don't. It's Hamden. not going like, to solve the problem. Pave Hamden. Yeah. Why don't we build At least it? one of those trip balls? Could what if we built it on top park? of one of the old dump hills? Yeah. Outside yeah. of town, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. that's a great. Yeah. I don't know if don't, that can be used for that, but I'll open I'm up sure a quick fix issue as soon as we leave. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> what about that one out by um by uh, is that North Haven there? West Haven has a dump right on the water there. The I bridge. think they're actually think that's a shopping complex. They call Haven. <laughs> 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 Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Not soon enough. <laughs> Uh, okay. For my million dollars, I would probably just order seafood from Domato's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get the seafood for five. <laughs> I've heard it's actually dangerously cheaper than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, though. I it shows say. up Check in the skate out. park quite Check a bit, actually. Yeah, People no, bring Domato's quite often. It is though. really yeah. good, because yeah. I, I literally live, like, three blocks from there, and so I was like, I got to stop at this place, right? It's, like, it's the only, it's the closest neighborhood restaurant. I finally checked it out. Pretty solid, so mm-hmm. it was exciting. Yeah. Close, like, 7.30, which is unreasonable, but also a whale we have. Well, it's on the bus. It's on the bus schedule. Right, you know? exactly. Yeah. So, um, and then lastly, we talked, uh, so we played some Fuck, Mary Kill. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't understand. We don't really have... <clears throat> I feel like you do understand. Uh, the first idea I, did, I had was not very good. So I was thinking transportation methods around New Haven. Uh-huh. Ways to get around town. Oh, you know? yes. So sure. fuck, Mary kill. I think that would be good because you have strong feelings about it. So yeah. You know? In our case, we say fuck is like um, something you fuck with. Maybe not every day, but yeah. like something you kind of like. You'll mm-hmm. be put, whatever. Yeah. It's sort of open yeah. to interpretation. Sure. I think it's, like, what did we say? Once a day, once a month, once a year. Is that the, uh, or no, no never. Like, once a day. Never and yeah, once a once day, a once a month, and never or something. Yeah, but I mean, whatever. It's, yeah, but it's not prompted. You just have to come mm-hmm. up with your own answers. So I just right. heard that they're oh, actually man, switching last me. night, switching out the city bikes with uh, electric bikes. Electric bikes. I was in that Which, conversation. Actually, I remember that. I was pretending you weren't there. Oh my bad. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be a huge bummer. Like what a lack of exercise. That sounds I feel so like. sad. Yeah, exactly. Like whoa. Yeah. Look, we, take we got rid of the bikes, made them wheelchairs. Yeah, so <laughs> okay. I'm, yeah, I'm with that. I could start. Let, let's start with kill. So, like, I would kill all electric vehicles. Okay, no scoots. No, <laughs> fuck, fuck scooters. That's man. what I call them now. Scoots. Yeah, scoots. <laughs> yeah. You should probably point at yourself with two fingers at the same time. <laughs> No scoots. I was jo- Josh, uh, I know you guys can't see him. Josh just pointed <laughs> himself with two fingers. <clears throat> uh, so, but, you know, not to say that I also want to, I'd throw cars in there. Also. Yeah, I would kill cars. Mm-hmm. Kill cars. Driving, like, really, around, big, driving around New Haven hurts my soul so much. Yeah, like I, it is. It's very bad for my you. My friend wanted to go to the cafe of the day, and she's like, well, let's drive. I'm like, why? It's We could ride our bikes and be free yeah. in mm-hmm. this beautiful world. Yeah. It's also becoming... Pretty hard just to uh, go downtown in a car. Yeah, at night. It's, traffic. You just could not park. Parking. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just why do it to yourself? Yeah, why punish so, yourself. So cars and Kill scooters, cars. Elect- okay. cars and electric things. Cool. Um, what about you, Colin? Kill. Are you, are you, Colin can't be tamed for this game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah. I'd only go in an order. Um, I would marry biking. You know what I mean? I ride my bike everywhere. Sure. It's my favorite way to get around. It's like pretty fast. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like. Like, I, I earnestly believe that biking is faster than, like, certainly faster than the bus. Maybe yeah. faster than driving, depending on traffic A lot traffic of the time lights, it is. You know? Yeah. It is, yeah. Um, Especially when you're competing with someone who's driving. You're like, I'm going to get there first. That's right. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. Yeah. Like, sure. I, a lot of times I throw tax down on the yeah. in the road, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, see, quick fix that. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's my favorite slur now is, is the... <laughs> yeah, can you please? <laughs> I think it's brand building, you know? Um... Yeah, I would fuck bikes. Um, okay. Yeah. And uh, I would fuck I would, bikes. I would marry walking. <laughs> <laughs> I have a joke about yeah. that. Come see this Saturday, Regal Beagle. I'll talk I think about the greatest bike. thing in the world is just being able to walk somewhere <clears throat> that you yeah. that you have to go. It's just so freeing. Not even having to have a bike. It's yeah, it's true. I guess I would. Yeah, I guess I would fuck with walking. I just feel like. Edge was a little far. Like it's it, not, man. I walk from Westville to work. I mean, these days because I'm in this relationship with skateboarding. Yeah, I, I'm. You know, is that your Facebook status? Yeah, I feel like that's also. But like I'm, you need I'm some so other. Like you need a coffee shop nearby. You that's, yeah, that you can yeah, walk that's the to. thing. I've you never know what I mean? seafood is great. It goes both ways. You need things closer to you. Yeah, yeah. that's true. We need I, I mean, it's it's two point three to no more than that. It's close to three miles from my house to. The office. Yeah, mine's only like 1.6. And I love the walk. Then. And I walk yeah. through your neighborhood 
yeah. late at night. Oh, and, we know. And mm. uh, skulking, I'm, if you will. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I uh, have a. So I'm a, definitely Mary alarm walking. that goes off. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm Mary walking. Mary walking. Yeah. All right. Nice. Big fan. I, I get mm. a lot of thoughts in walking or work out a lot of complicated thoughts. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to fuck biking a lot. Like, yeah. I fucked biking hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, tell us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we can do that point sound thing. God, you're right. such a pretty mouth. Tell <laughs> us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> quick, put in the sound effect, uh, Damon. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Boing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's uh, a good play. Did you get everything out of you wanted to? Or yeah, sure. Sure, I wouldn't kill anything. Sometimes you you need a truck to get something somewhere. Yeah, it's so. true. So you got to hold dirt or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. They serve a purpose. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, all right. Um, so, Ben, go to sleekfix.com to check out his sweet app. Anything else you want to plug that you're working on or Edgewood Skate Park? Yeah, we we plugged Ed- Edgewood Skate Park. Mm-hmm. Um, we, oh. Job opening. We DevOps. plugged the job opening. Yeah. Oh, I always like to say. com slash jobs. Yeah, g- that's right. Yeah. Uh, see? He's Took a shot there. in the dark. I checked that down again. Oh, dark. you actually checked it out. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm usually I'm usually not qualified for their jobs, but, you know, mm-hmm. didn't so, stop me neither, from the current job. Neither am I. Nice. To be clear. Uh, I like to plug Make Haven whenever I can. Okay. Yeah. Make Haven. Yeah. yeah. Um, you guys know, you know what Make Haven is? Mm-hmm. We do. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not Maybe a member, I'm... but uh, yeah. We should probably get one of those guys in here someday. Yeah, you should get yeah. J.R. or Leo in that's, here. That's a good one. True. Okay. Yeah. 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 Make, Make Haven's Haven. a makerspace where uh, I think it's like 300 plus members now. Yeah. It's right here in the nine square. A lot of fabrication equipment. Yeah. Uh, anything you r- could really make. Yeah. 50 mm-hmm. bucks a month. You can swipe in 24 seven and go run a table saw or a 3D printer or a laser cutter. It's right. a metal shop coming online soon. It's pretty rad. Nice. Yeah. All What's right. the best thing you ever made there? I think it's probably something for my kids. Um, I've made some like furniture for my kids there. I've made some toys Look, for my kids. Kid. I made a real dad. <laughs> 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 oh. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm projecting my own emotional problems. <laughs> uh, awkward. You know, you took me away from dinner with my kids right now, so I'm feeling a little bit of guilt. Wow, so, nice. You know, that yeah. kind of hit home. I was just Yikes, texting my- I got real. I, I posted something on Facebook yesterday about how much I love therapy and how much it's changed my life. And I was texting my dad before I got here, and he's like, I can't help but feel personally responsible. I'm like, well- <laughs> Yes, but also it's not your fault. Your dad was an <laughs> asshole. These are generational <laughs> problems. It's fine. So I was projecting. Right. I apologize. No, no, it's good. <laughs> I like that I your dad that. can't help but feel partially responsible. And you're like, no, you're largely responsible. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think it was like 70% your mom, 30% me. But yeah, it's hard to know, really. So, um, yeah, Colin, nothing to plug, really. No. Cool. Just That's baby. it. Cool. All hard stop. Uh, yeah, come come see comedy Regal Beagle this Saturday, July thirteenth, and then July twenty sixth at the Art Plus Studio on Chapel Street. Uh, Ten dollars BYOB show. We're gonna have all your favorites will be there, whoever they are. Um, it'll be a great time. Thank you so much, Ben, for coming. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thanks for Colin. being here, man. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Hammond, and uh, we'll see you next time. Busy people and lots of alleys, Worcester hipsters. Fed up townies, we have more than pizza in common. With two rocks for bookends, New Haven, New Haven, New Haven. Between two rocks. Between two rocks. <laughs>